Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a recap on my spring 30 for 30 capsule wardrobe. I shared a video around about a month ago kind of going through the process of me pulling everything out of my closet and determining what I was going to select and at that time I actually didn't pick all 30 items. I kind of wanted to live with my capsule before picking the rest. So I thought what I could do in this video is share a recap of every single outfit that I wore and actually there's only 29 outfits because one of the days I was just really exhausted just feeling so tired so I ended up staying in my pajamas all day very glamorous uh, so it's gonna be 29 outfits I'll talk through the items that I wore the most and there's four pieces that I thought I would highlight then I want to talk about my favorite outfits the outfits that maybe didn't work quite so well and also just my general thoughts on this entire process because I really really loved my winter 30 for 30 capsule and that was what inspired me to do this seasonally I didn't have the same experience with my spring one so first things first let's run through all the outfits um, I will actually have a link in the description box below to recap where you can see all of the items that I picked I ended up going with just 28 and I will have them also all linked down in the description box below I'll try and put them in order of appearance so hopefully that'll help if you are looking for anything but yeah let's get into the outfits outfits that I wore I thought maybe what I could do is just run through the things that I wore the most so you might have picked them up when you were watching but the first one I want to highlight is a handbag now I don't include bags as part of my 30 items I just feel like it's a really simple way for me to change up my look and you probably noticed that I was changing my bag almost daily because it gave me a different vibe a different feeling and it was one of the ways that I could help keep the capsule experience feel exciting so the bag in question that I wore the most and I think I wore this 11 days out of the 30 was my Everlane studio bag and this actually a lot of the time sits at the very um, in the undercarriage of our pram because it's just a really convenient size for putting in all of the baby essentials but I really love this and actually if you've had your eye on the Celine Sangle sew bag this is an excellent dupe just really good quality uh, and it's got a very similar sort of a vibe a similar shape to it I quite like the fact that it has this pleated pocket detail on one side but then you could also wear it just with the smooth leather side if you want to wear it in a way that looks a little bit less fussy or just has a bit less detail to it but yeah, this is just a really nice easy throw on shoulder bag um, it tucks really nicely underneath the arm and I feel like it's really comfortable when you have your elbow sort of pinching in the top of the bag like that so for me it feels very secure it does just have a simple uh, snap closure which helps to sort of cinch in the bag at the top and inside there is one interior pocket and then you also have that pocket on the front that I mentioned but otherwise it's just one large compartment uh, and the strap is adjustable this is a bag that you can't wear crossbody it's simply a shoulder bag uh, yeah I'm going to do an actual proper review over my blog which I think will be up by the time this video goes live so I will leave that linked down below too if you want a bit more of an in-depth look at this bag but a really good classic and actually it does also fit a laptop fits my 13 inch MacBook but the only thing is that I can't actually pinch the closure shut so one thing to keep in mind but a really good practical 
identical size. Next most worn item is a pair of shoes and they are my Jane Debster Tegan slides. These I bought as a dupe for the Saint Laurent slides and I actually now have the Saint Laurent version but I still love these and I'm still wearing them although I've noticed now looking at them that the heel has completely worn off so I think I'm probably going to have to take them to the cobbler or else retire them because they've definitely gotten a lot of love over the years that I've had them but being a nice warm brown I feel like these added a lot to my outfits uh, especially because the color palette it was relatively dark. I do have a lot of the items that were in my capsule behind me uh, if you wanted a bit of a glimpse at the color palette. But yeah, really comfortable. Um, these fit true to size as well if you've been thinking about getting them. I have seen them on sale quite a bit recently. And then funnily enough, despite me thinking I had kind of selected very wrong because I went more of a transitional sort of style basics for this capsule, my two most worn clothing items were both knitwear pieces. Uh, the one I wore the most was this And of the Stories big, huge, oversized beige knit sweater. This is a wool polyamide blend. Uh, it's really cozy, very warm. Uh, and you know, I wasn't as drawn to how oversized it was when it arrived, but as I have worn it more and styled it up more, I actually have really come around to it. And it's been one of those items that I've really gotten a lot of enjoyment from wearing. Uh, and yeah, that was kind of one of the reasons why I included it in this capsule because I wanted to, uh, I guess, encourage myself to reach for it more and, you know, see how it could work with my wardrobe as a whole. The other uh, knitwear item that I wore a lot <laughs> was actually a later addition to my capsule. So this is the Eveline Cross alpaca knit cardigan. So the reason why I decided to include this as part of my capsule was because I felt like I could wear it a variety of different ways and I love the versatility. So I could wear it buttoned all the way up, have a couple of the top buttons worn loose, I could just wear it completely open or I could wear it back to front looking almost like a sweater with a button detail down the back. So yeah love that versatility. Uh, there is this mild itchiness to it, nothing severe, at least not for me, and I feel like I have relatively sensitive skin, uh, but I do find that the alpaca knit, how soft or uh, how non-itchy it's going to feel against your skin really does depend on the um, different wash or the different colors. So my almond one, which is that really nice light uh, oatmeal color, that one isn't itchy at all. Uh, though my gray one, the charcoal one, that has a little bit of a slight itch to it, similar to this. But yeah, these are just really beautiful and they are so easy to wash as well. <laughs> so now I want to talk through my favorite outfits and then a couple of outfits that I didn't really feel worked for me. And the first one I want to mention is I think the outfit that I wore on day two. And I was wearing an off-shoulder black top from Free People, some khaki colored or kale colored shorts from Madewell, my Birkenstocks, the Everlane studio bag, and I also had on a hat from Marl and I really like the way this outfit came together. I remember this day because it was the first time that we took our son to the beach or a local bay and um, I felt really great in what I was wearing but also it kind of marked a big memory for us because it was the first time we were taking him you know down to the water so that's quite special and I have that kind of connection with this outfit now uh, but yeah I have I really wanted to see the different ways that I could style that free people off the shoulder top. I bought it a few months prior uh, because I thought it was such good value for money. I think it was 30 Australian dollars on sale. It's 100% cotton. It's a really nice cotton pop blend so really beautiful very breathable for the summer. Uh, the shorts I think were a big surprise for me because I don't really tend to wear those sorts of green colors that much and it is something I have found slowly creeping into my closet and I am all here for it. I really love it and I think it's just helping to add a little bit more uh, personality to my wardrobe. Okay, outfit number two that I liked is another shorts one. So this was on another hot day. And the reason why I liked this outfit was because it was an, a surprising combination for me. So that wrap top that I've got from Witchery, I adore. It's one of my favorites in my closet. And I never thought to wear it with denim shorts before. And it just kind of came to me. And I love the way that it ended up looking, especially because the top is quite refined and elegant. And then the shorts have the distressed hem. Actually, I feel like it would have looked really great with also my I kept denim shorts which were part of the capsule as well as those Madewell ones from the previous look and then to kind of um, I suppose soften everything I wore tan slides and you kind of see there's a bit of a balance in terms of the color palette so I've got the dark color on top as well as the bag and then I've got sort of more lighter colors on my lower half. 
Outfit number three featured that and other stories oversized knit and this I paired again with green trousers. These were one of my favorite purchases for the current season. Uh, if you missed that fashion haul that I did where I shared everything that I purchased after I did the autumn and spring edit, I'm gonna link it up here so you can go have a watch but they were probably my favorite of the bunch. Um, I really like the fact that they have the little tabs on the side so you can sort of cinch them in. The crop length is just perfect on me. I have a short inseam for my legs. It's uh, 27.75 inches or something to that effect. So for me, when I find a pair of trousers I don't need to tailor, I am thrilled to bits. Um, I feel like because even though the pants are relatively loose and the sweater is just so oversized and boxy, like the two actually really work well together and it's sort of anchored by the really chunky sandals as well. And I also went with the big bag too, so it's kind of big, cozy all over felt very relaxed, very kind of effortless and cool. Um, the outfit number four that I really loved is again featuring that witchery wrap top. You see this is such a favorite piece of mine and this time I paired it with some white slim straight leg jeans. I again had never thought to pair the top this way. Um, I think I just really like how it looked with skirts and also with skinny leg jeans. So for me, this was just a really beautiful outfit. Um, I love the contrasting color as well. Over the top, I was wearing that trench coat, which I didn't think I'd end up needing, but I actually did. And then on my feet, again, to kind of soften the look, I went with my tan slides. Um, but yeah, love this outfit. Definitely one I think I will repeat. And then the fifth outfit that I loved, was um, kind of a monochromatic look. So I was wearing a navy oversized men's cashmere sweater tucked into my favorite is Balmoran Etoile wrap skirt. I like the fact that there's sort of this um, juxtaposition between the really casual nature of the sweater and then the sort of more done up look of the skirt. And then on my feet, I had my 40 hour flats just to kind of elongate the legs, to make it look a little bit more elegant, refined. Uh, and that was also mirrored in my bag of choice. Two outfits that I didn't like or that I didn't really feel worked for me was actually one was the first outfit that I wore as part of the capsule and it was wearing my Everlane Air ruched blouse which I love this piece I just think it's absolutely gorgeous um, I wore it with my Madewell skinny jeans and my Gucci loafers and I think it was just that Separately, I love all these items. Together, I don't really think that they worked, at least not in this color combination. So not an outfit that I would probably repeat. I'd maybe go for a low block heeled shoe, um, a really pretty sandal, uh, maybe something that's gonna give me some height, but I just don't think this outfit worked with the loafers and maybe that was sort of the point uh, because I also didn't love the belt with it either. Uh, so yeah, that was the first outfit I didn't like and the second one that I didn't really love was featuring one of my favorite items in this capsule My assembly label linen trousers. I think these are fantastic I love the way it looks with so many of my other outfits But I didn't really like how it paired with that Evelyn alpaca knit and I don't know if it's because I had the top two buttons undone Maybe if I'd have worn it buttoned all the way up, I would have liked it so I think maybe it might have just been a small styling element that didn't work for me, but that is really the thing that I'm drawn to that I don't like when I look at this photo. So those are the outfits I did and didn't like, and then I just want to do a little bit of a recap of my feelings because, you know, um, I stopped doing capsule wardrobes for a reason, and... I really like the experience because it encourages me to be more creative again with my closet and it's a really good reminder that you can do a lot with very little uh, and I always feel like when I'm doing a capsule that I actually have loads of options and I feel guilty if I'm going to utilize all 30 pieces. It's bizarre. I don't understand the psychology of it and why my mind works that way, but it's just how I feel. And I have to admit, I felt really frustrated this time around. And I don't know if it's because um, when you saw me planning out my capsule, I really hadn't actually done any planning. I had been uh, so kind of stretched with my time in terms of, you know, doing some planning work for Miere. I'm, you know, doing, I'm designing sort of a second collection at the moment. So that's been something that's been keeping me busy. Um, the launch has been delayed and I'm so sorry to, you know, kind of jump the boat and share it with you guys so early because uh, I know anticipation is just the worst, but 
hopefully I'll be able to do an Australia launch for December, fingers crossed. All depends on when everything gets here because it will be shipped by sea. Um, anyway, I digress, but you know, I was doing that, um, trying to kind of do all of my other filming commitments, my work commitments, look after a baby who is a lot more active and alert. It was just really challenging and I didn't have any time to just sit down and write out what I think I wanted to include. And I feel like that really showed um, because usually when I map things out, I'm really uh, considered and I take quite a bit of time to really carefully curate what I'm going to include in my capsule. So I think that was point number one, why I felt really frustrated by the items. I think also it was just the items that I chose. So I really wanted to push myself to wear certain pieces. And that was one of the reasons why I picked particular items. Uh, might've been things I wasn't really wearing a lot or just even items that I absolutely loved or just things that I were new. And I can see now that that was the wrong choice to do it that way. Uh, and maybe if there's items that I really wanna push myself to wear, I should do it when I'm not doing capsule wardrobe because at that point you're very limited in the items that you've selected. Uh, I think maybe also the color palette as well. The fact that the weather was all over the place, it was really hot and then it was really cold and rainy and miserable. And I found that really hard to balance with the pieces that I'd selected. I think I made a real error with the shoes that I chose. So for a start, the Gucci loafers, I love them and I really wanted to wear them a lot. However, the weather, it was either too hot or it was raining and I did not want to wear them when it was raining. So I found myself really caught uh, in this position of wanting to wear them, but just not really feeling like I could. My Birkenstock sandals, which actually were the second most worn shoe after the Jane Dids to slides. I found those got to be quite uncomfortable when wearing them daily. So they're actually kind of made from a plasticky material and they put quite a bit of pressure on the top part of your foot, which can become painful over time. Uh, I almost feel like that part of my foot is slightly bruised. Uh, not that you can see it, sort of almost bruised internally or on the bone um, from wearing them so much. And uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to be putting them on hiatus for a while, just kind of putting them in hibernation so that I can let my feet recover. Um, I do have a very similar style that I've bought from Tony Bianco, which I think are much more comfortable for leather. I'm gonna link those down below. Um, so that was also a bit of a problem point for me. Um, and yeah, I don't know, I just think maybe also, I'm still trying to figure out my spring style, my spring summer style since having a baby. Uh, obviously, you know, I've noticed a huge style shift. I'm a lot more casual than I was before. Uh, also being at home all the time, that's kind of forced me to be a lot more casual than I was previously because I've realized there is no need for me to sort of dress up. I know in the future that's going to change, so I'm not gonna get rid of any of those dressier pieces, but it just has really kind of made me rethink the way that I'm getting dressed every single day. So I felt like I was in a little bit of rut from that perspective because I still wanted to uh, experiment and figure out what I wanted to wear. So I'm wondering whether if I do this for summer, I may end up having a more positive experience because I will have spent a lot more time dressing for hotter weather and figuring out what it is that I do and do not like or that does or does not work for my current lifestyle. So yeah, that is, um, I suppose, sort of a top line look at how I've been feeling. Uh, in that blog post that I'm gonna link below with the items that I picked, I will kind of expand on this a little bit more and talk about it in a bit more detail, uh, as well as any other kind of thoughts that come to mind. But yeah, I hope that you found this video interesting, kind of coming along, hearing about my capsule experience that I did. Um, I really do think that this is such a fantastic way to really explore your wardrobe, explore your personal style and find out things about the way you get dressed or the way you like to get dressed. Uh, I, I think it's so helpful for that. So um, for me, yeah, the experience, I did get a lot of learnings out of it, but I just found myself feeling frustrated. And I know I wasn't the only one. I had a few of you message me on Instagram to say that you felt the same way. So <laughs> glad that I wasn't alone. But yeah, that is it for me. I know I've waffled on way too long, but I hope that you enjoyed this very chatty video. I will see you next week with a brand new one. See you soon. Bye.